V8 supercar, starting up front, Road America, short race. I'm fully ready to get bullied. So, green flag is out. Not a good launch from the V8 supercar, but that's all right. We got some good straight line speed, so we're in a good sector of the track for our car to gain a couple positions. So right away, we're going to try and let's just make it through turn one without too many difficulties. Right here, we're going to see the Audi go wide, so we're going to try and get power down early, but he takes a super shallow exit, not using the curb at all, which highly recommend you do so you can really maximize your speed out of the corner. Now we're just going to make sure we can get a good draft. And we should be able to have enough straight line speed here to drag by the Ferrari, which will put us up into second. The guy who qualified on pole up here, he was considerably faster because he's in a considerably faster car. But he was about a second and a half to two seconds a lap faster than me in the V8 supercar. I can't not drop my lap times down to what he's running in this car. It's just not going to be possible. So now... The entire goal is to play defense in the quarters. So we have really angry Audi and a really angry Ferrari Realizing right behind us. Second gear, not really good for here. We managed to survive through that section of the track, which means we should be able to create another gap in the first sector of the track because we have a significant straight line speed advantage. But one thing that I really need to tune this car a little bit more because I can definitely find a lot more time. Watch the gears as we go up this hill. I'm having to shift because it's hitting the rev limiter way too early. Like it just doesn't really make sense. And I think it has something to do with the bumpiness of road 6, america RPM. so now we're able to pull enough of a little gap just to have a little bit of comfort through the first couple sectors there really isn't a fight with the guy in front he's in the one of the fastest cars in the game it's just not much we can do about it so once he got in front of us yeah pretty much came over and now he's going to be able to draft both of them are going to be able to hang in the draft with me but i'm going to be able to pull a little bit out of that create another gap on these guys and that's going to be the most important thing is because I don't want any of them to get by me in this section of the track because this is by far the slowest section for me. From this point onward, I am just a moving roadblock for them. So I'm trying to make sure I can push as hard as I can through these corners because I'm going to be significantly slower. So we're doing a pretty good job so far watching the leaders slowly and painfully drive away from us knowing there's nothing we can do about it. But we have the Audi sitting right back on our rear with the Ferrari on him as well. So we have to make sure we get nice clean lines through here. And you can see he's starting to pull up on us. We get a little bit of that arrow wash and just get a little bit loose, but we're able to maintain the line. He's going to make a move around the outside, which is really, really aggressive. And right here, we have enough of that straight line speed to get back in front of him. He tries to hang around the outside and he goes a little bit wide. Um, I was turning as hard as I could to make that corner. I think he probably should, he should have left it a little bit, not gone in too wide through there. Cause I've never seen a successful pass in the kink in real life in my entire life. So we're again, able to safely make it all the way through. And I'm just going to let this play out and I'm going to join you guys back for the last lap, but we're going to go all the way through again but I've got a little bit of a cough right now and I can only talk for about a minute and a half at a time. Where are you up to now? V8 supercar really isn't a very good bully. 
It just gets bullied. Still going strong. Tires worn. Car closing in. It's game on. We're on the last lap. The Ferrari definitely a little bit better on the tires than the V8 supercar. And it's starting to show he's really gaining in the corners now and putting on the pressure immediately. This is the first time I've really had to block into this section. Luckily, I didn't have to make any defensive moves in that corner. But trouble is brewing because he's going to make a move already around the outside we're going to try and hold it all the way through the inside and hopefully we can get a good enough run to stay in front of him up ahead of the kink but he also gets a very very good run we're going to stay side by side it's the last lap we're gonna send it we make it through he gets a good run on the exit but we're also able to get a very good run and we are able to hold the position. So right here, he's right on my tail. I know he can make a good breaking move. So I'm going to take a defensive line into the corner, but he's going to get a better exit and he is there. I struggle to put the power down with the tires starting to starting to wear, but we stay on the inside and we just got to stay as close as we can through the final corner. But maybe we pushed it a little bit too hard. We're drifting a little bit wide, but so does he. Who can get the power down first? It's definitely him, but we have the straight line speed advantage. So we get into the draft immediately and we are closing into the back of this Ferrari, but we just ran out of time. So we get alongside as we get to the line, but unfortunately it was not enough, but it was a really close race. We did end up getting second because he had a penalty, but he, he got second. I don't, I ignore those. He Great job getting around me on that last lap. I drove as best defensively as I could, but we uh, sometimes we don't get them. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.